Hello everyone, my name is Julia Lova and today I'll be making my demonstrative speech on how to make a simple southern banana pudding. Have you ever created something sweet and so tasting, yet you're home and you just don't want to go outside to the stores and get the ingredients to make something? Yet you can make this dessert with just plain, simple ingredients that all of us can find at home. This dessert is a total favorite in my family. I do it at least once a month for my children. They love it and it's absolute favorite for them. The ingredients that I'll be using for the pudding are a tablespoon of flour, one cup of sugar, dash of salt, four cups of milk, four egg yolks, one teaspoon of vanilla, three to four bananas, and vanilla buffers. Now that we're ready to begin, we're going to go ahead and mix all our ingredients in the saucepan. I had broken my four egg yolks. I'll be putting a cup of sugar, four cups of milk, and then we will be putting eight tablespoons of flour. Once everything is mixed, we're gonna go ahead and mix it and we will cook it on medium until thick, continuing to stir so that it doesn't stick to the pan. This usually takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and start cooking. Once you mix all your ingredients and you're ready to cook, you gotta make sure you really mix everything in, as you can see as I'm doing it right now. And like I said, cook it for 15 to 20 minutes until it thickens. Once our mixture thickens and is ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and layer our bananas and vanilla buffers in any dish that you like before we place our mixture in. After we have layered our vanilla buffers and banana slices, we're gonna go ahead and pour half of the mixture on top of what we already have layered. After pouring half of the pudding mixture over the top of buffers and bananas, we're gonna go ahead and repeat with a second layering of cookies and bananas and after we're gonna put the second half of the pudding on top. So once again, we layered our pudding with the second set of cookies and bananas. Now we're gonna put our second half of the mixture in and the last step is going to be to crunch up a few additional vanilla wafers and sprinkle them on top. As you can see, our banana pudding is already nice and layered up. You can eat this dessert right away if you like it warm, or you can place it in the fridge for just a few hours if you like cold desserts. In my family, we prefer it cold, so we just put it in the fridge for just a few hours. Truly, this, this recipe is so easy to make. The only hard part for my family is waiting for it to cool down. I would like to thank you for watching my demonstrative speech on how to make a banana pudding. I hope you found it easy to make with just a few simple ingredients and I hope you'll try to make it one day for your loved ones, your family, your friends who love the desserts because it's just truly so delicious. Thank you.